on to part three. Okay, so we've got our project opened up here in Camtasia Studio. And I've used the Flip Share software, the software here, to transfer the video from my camera, from the camcorder down to my computer. And you can see it automatically made a folder and, and the year just detected when that when that video was taken um, and created that folder for me to store that in just so I can find it later um, now now that I have a copy of that those video clips on this computer I can use them in this project okay in the Camtasia studio project so what I need to do is come over here to where it says add and I'm going to do import media this is the same this is the same process whether I was importing a uh, still image excuse me, a still image, uh, some music or sound effects, video I, that I got off eMedia or somewhere else on the internet, or video that I've gotten from my flip camera. Okay, so all I need to do is browse to it. Alright, so it's under my user here on this computer and in the video folder. Okay, so there's my videos folder. Double click on that and I can see there's the flip share data folder and I'm just going to sort of drill down until I can find the videos folder and there are my two video clips one is 40 seconds long and 18 megabytes the other one is a little longer a minute four seconds long and 30 megabytes or almost 30 uh, that's the one I want I want a piece of that video so I'm just going to select it and say open alright and then when I look here in my clip bin the clip in is all the stuff I have available for this project. So I can see my two titles, I can see my a still image that I've brought in, some audio that I brought in from um, Sounds Abounds, and some audio that I recorded in Camtasia. And then I can see um, some video. This Therm video is the video I captured with my document camera, and this video is video that I've captured with the flip camera. That's what I just did. Now I want to bring this in. I would like to set it here maybe right after the video that I captured with my document camera. Okay, so I want to add it to this project. Now before I do that, I'm going to lock these other layers that aren't going to be involved. Okay, so I lock those up and then I'm going to drag that video down and drop it right where I want it on the timeline. Okay, and you can see that it pushed the title down, um, down the track and it's sitting there ready to ready to be part of the project all right so let me unlock these other tracks because i want to adjust this little bit this um, little bit here is the voiceover that goes underneath um, that video because when i extended it i um, i moved the move the audio a little bit so i'm going to re reposition that and I'm going to take my finishing uh, music clip and move it all the way here to the end. Okay, so now I have a video that um, plays the audio. Or, I'm sorry, if I play this now, I can watch that video and it's going to play. And when it gets to the end here, it's going to go to the video I captured with the flip camera. And um, I want to put in a couple transitions. That transi when I drop that in there, it removed the transition because it was right in the same spot. So I'm going to quickly click on transitions. Oh, one thing, uh, if you remember, before we do the transitions, I'm going to lock up the audio layers here um, to make sure those don't get um, fouled up. So transitions, I'll just do a simple fade here after the thermometer to go into into the video as well as between the two videos and maybe one here at the end when it goes from my video into the title. Let's go see how that looks. Okay, so now I've got transitions in. I may need to adjust um, its audio a little bit. I'm going to move that down because that, that little voiceover is meant to be right underneath that um, video clip. And then I think I'll adjust this audio here on the end as well. Okay, my finishing audio. Okay, so with that, this project um, is about done. Um, I've added, you know, all the elements that I wanted to add to teach the topic that I wanted to teach. 
Uh, my project is still fairly short. You can see it's just down here, you know, just a little bit more than two and a half minutes, which is a reasonable amount of time. Um, you don't want to make these too long because your student or visitor, um, it's hard to watch, you know, you know, a 20 minute video on the internet or on your iPod, especially if they're, uh, you're creating little educational um, chunks of content. Uh, you want to break that, break them down as much as possible. Okay, so let's say I'm finished with this. I've watched it through a few times and I can, you know, go back to the start. I've got to click this to get all the way back to the start and then I can play whoop, one more there. I can play the whole thing through. Okay, and I would want to watch it through to make sure it was looking clean. There weren't any mistakes that I needed to fix and then I'm ready to um, send a copy of this out that I can um, share. So I'm going to do a file, um, save project, because that allows me to save this work that I've done so I can come back and if I need to come back and edit some more or add some more things into it, I have this project completely editable. Uh, and then I'm going to export this project. Okay, so um, where did my export go? How about we'll just use it this um, down here, produce. I wonder if that's on that menu, produce. There you go. So I'm going to produce the video. So it's going to produce video as, and I'm going to select um, which what I want to produce. So um, I'm going to, if you do have, um, if you have had high def video, you can certainly set it to any of these settings. Uh, I probably recommend the web setting because that gives you a nice 640 by 480 size. It's a quick time video that's going to come out um, and that's one that that's a good size to put on the internet, a good size to put uh, into iTunes uh, because it, if your visitor plays it on their computer they see a nice high quality large version. If they end up putting it onto an iPod um, it's a little the file would be a little bigger than necessary but it still is going to look good on an iPod. Okay, and I'm going to send this out. Um, let's see. Okay, and I want to make sure it goes to a spot that I know about. So I could put this out here, let's just say onto my desktop. I think I have a folder out here um, for my podcast, and I'm going to save it into this folder so I can find it later. Okay, that's ready to go. Um, click Next, and it gives me a little preview of what's going on. That all looks good. I'm just going to click finish and there it is starting to um, render the project, meaning create a brand new video and that new video I'll be able to um, share it in pretty much whoever I want. It's a quick time video so I could put it on the internet, um, I could upload it to YouTube, I could upload it into the iTunes U area um, that is being created for the EMED project. Alright, well thanks for watching and good luck.